Yes, sir. I need you to go now. Warn Adams and Hancock. As more riots broke out in the city of Boston, this was allegedly a protest of cell phone monitoring laws issued by Parliament several weeks ago. Revere. Troops have been deployed to the yes, sir. Isn't an automatic, so I'm hoping you drive stick. Yeah. Uh, there's a pistol in the front seat. What? Pistol? Yeah. A pistol. You're not going out there without protection. Now, if you have any problems that you can't fix yourself, you call me. Get the car back to me in one piece. No promises. Patrick Henry, taken from his speech two weeks ago. You know, I agree wholeheartedly with the governor. For what have the British people gotten us? They have killed our people. They have unjustly taken our money and have savagely torn our liberties from us. Something must be done, and I will not rest easily until something is. The British government has rejected the last petition for peace, and their soldiers steal from the American people. in securing what we rightly deserve. Now, as we go into our ninth hour on air, we'd like to thank everyone responsible for keeping this show running. Whoa, 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 hold up. We weren't expecting you this late. I need to see Hancock. Yes, and Hancock is sleeping right now, sir. I'm afraid I can't have you You realize so... this is important. Regardless, I'm afraid I can't have you making so much noise at this hour of the night. You'll have more than enough noise before long. Thank you, John, but I don't think this is the most appropriate time for drinking. It's never too late for a good scotch, my friend. Yes, but you see, As I recall, not... this was given to me by one of my colleagues. His name escapes me, but anyway, it's a fine scotch and appropriate for celebration. But, as it seems, I won't be seeing any of those anytime soon. So, good time as ever, right? Yes, of course, but the drinks are gonna have to wait. You see, I was sent here by- Oh, so the great Samuel Adams finally emerges from his slumber. Piss off, I smell brandy. Oh, what's the matter, Sammy? Didn't have fun tar and feathering the postmaster today? I'd rather be tar and feather than spend another night in your godforsaken mattress. Godforsaken? I'll have you know that mattress is imported! Imported out of my ass. Gentlemen! Well, now the whole house is awake. British soldiers are on their way right now to arrest the both of you. You need to leave with your families at once. Well then, cheers.
would appear that we've all been assigned to the same task. Three messengers for one job. I pray the committee wasn't expecting any losses tonight. Dawes, Prescott, I assume your ride over here was safe? No safer than anyone else's during these hours. Have you seen the lights in the towers yet? I have. Then we better get going. Going where exactly? Concord. There's a huge Patriot weapon stash there and you can be damn sure the British are going to be looking for it. We need to head down there and make sure our boys are ready for visitors. Patriots, and what, what we stand for is not something that can be defended by cowardice. We are strong, we are willing, and we are more than ready to defend our country and our people. Fear is but a mere human emotion. It, it is meant to elicit one of two responses, to fight or to flee. Two very human reactions with two very different... So, I ask you, Patriots, which will you choose? Charlie Thompson. Thank you for stopping by the store. What is it? Yeah, um... Someone's been following us for the past mile. Wait, what? Are, are they British? Probably. Um... I'm gonna try something. I'll meet you guys at Concord. Okay? Keep going. Wait, Paul, what are you trying to... Is that Revere? God, you can't leave him like that. Hey. They sent three of us for a reason. We need to keep going. The infamous Paul Revere. I have a few questions for you. You'll answer truthfully, or I'll put a bullet. <coughs> Perhaps we'll skip the questions. Now, what I'm suggesting to you, faithful patriots, is complete and total. Will you turn off this treasonous garbage Not already? Simply talk, Hold on. But action. It's about to happen. Action that will drive our people to freedom and liberty. It's up to you, Patriots, to stand and fight. Light, open up! Oh, shit! Got under arrest by all of the British crowd! Not today. Blockade 2, clear blockade 2. Go ahead. So I'm to believe. That 500 of your rebel soldiers are coming this way as we speak? I'm not believing it would cost you dearly. What? What was that? Not believing it would cost you dearly. 
Sir, we have orders to advance the front lines into Lexington. Very well. All patrols move out. Someone get Revere's car. You got off easy. I hope your soldiers are coming. I wouldn't want to be alone out here. <laughs>